What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. If you could do me a favor, hit that like, subscribe, share, and notification, I sure appreciate it. Helps my channel out greatly. Well, well, well. As expected, which I believe all us Georgia fans knew, Cortez Hankton, the wide receiver coach for Georgia, <laughs> has moved on to coach the wide receivers for LSU and Brian Kelly. So Brian Kelly has hired Cortez Hankton away from Georgia. But like I said, I think all Georgia fans knew that was coming. And on top of that, JT Daniels, the quarterback, is transferring from Georgia. Now, I had heard before that he had said that he wanted to come back. But I think his decision to transfer is a telltale sign that Stetson Bennett is coming back next year. So to get on the Cortez Hank and going to LSU. Will that hurt Georgia's recruiting for wide receivers? There's a possibility it could. Depending on who Georgia brings in as the next wide receivers coach. You know, <laughs> I've heard people say, well, bring in Heinz Ward. Bring in Terrence Edwards, former Georgia players, which played that position at Georgia. They're not... <laughs> Kirby Smart is not going to hire Terrence Edwards as the wide receivers coach. Now, yes, he does coach. He does have a school. He coaches wide receivers and gets him prepared for college out of high school. Kirby Smart did hire a former player last year. For the DB coach, before he hired Jamal Adai. So, y'all don't look for Kirby to hire Terrence Edwards. Heinz Ward, maybe. He played wide receiver at Georgia. He went on to be the best NFL wide receiver for the Pittsburgh Steelers and is a Hall of Fame wide receiver. And he coaches wide receivers in college now. And yes, he coached wide receivers for the New York Jets. And can you believe he was interviewed or is going to be interviewed for the Houston Texans 
head coaching position. Now would he, will he get it? I don't know if they'll hire him as a head coach for the Te Houston Texans. Would I like to see Heinz Ward come to Georgia? Definitely. But again, I think Kirby Smart isn't going to hire Heinz Ward or Terrence Edwards, even though Heinz Ward has said that he wants to come back and coach at the University of Georgia. Now, I do think it will hurt Georgia's recruiting a little bit for the wide receiver's position, depending on who they bring in as a wide receiver's coach. And we know Kirby Smart most likely is going to go out and hire a real good wide receiver's coach. Now, they have to be able to recruit and want to recruit. And I'm sure there are wide receiver coaches lining up at the door now. I haven't heard of any names floating around out there on who he could possibly be looking at. But I can tell you, whoever he hires will be a lot better than Cortez Hankton. I know he's brought in receivers like Jermaine Burton, George Pickens, Dominic Blaylock, but his recruiting had failed, had dropped off in his production in recruiting. So that brings me to JT Daniels transferring. And like I said a while ago, that is and could be a telltale sign that Stetson Bennett is coming back. Now, Stetson Bennett coming back, will some offensive players decide to hit the portal. I have heard at one time that a lot of these receivers don't like playing for Stetson Bennett. Don't like him as the quarterback. That they had preferred JT Daniels being the quarterback. So, with JT Daniels transferring and Stetson Bennett possibly coming back, what is that going to do for some of the receivers? Could Jermaine Burton transfer? Hit the transfer portal? Dominic Blaylock? Can't be George Pickens because he's already declared for the NFL draft. What about some of the offensive linemen? Would they consider transferring? And I know, like I said, it's a telltale sign that Stetson Bennett is coming back with JT Daniels deciding to hit the transfer portal today. But he hadn't announced yet if he's coming back or not. 
But to me, me personally, that's a telltale sign that he is coming back next year. Now, how will the quarterback rotation play out Stetson Bennett come back? Will he be the starting quarterback? Or will Kirby Smart finally give Brock Vandergriff and Gunnar Stockton a chance to fight for the starting quarterback position? Because we know Carson Beck is transferring if he hadn't already transferred. I know Stetson Bennett won the national champion national championship. But Kirby Smart, you have two five star quarterbacks on the roster. If these guys during the off season during G Day, during practices, <laughs> if they show you that they deserve to be the starting quarterback and they're outperforming Stetson Bennett, then one of them has to be the starter for next year. But as I see it, we all know Kirby Smart and his quarterback evaluation. I'm sure, being as Stetson Bennett won the national championship, he will name Stetson Bennett the starting quarterback. Now, if he does that, would Brock Vandergriff transfer? If he ha if he's not getting a fair opportunity? He probably would. I could see Brock Vandergriff transferring if Stetson Bennett is named the starter for next year. Or Gunnar Stockton. Would Gunnar Stockton, would he want out of his national letter of intent and want to transfer? Kirby Smart has to do a better job of evaluating quarterbacks and playing the right quarterback. Like I said, I know Stetson Bennett played good this year. I know he won the national championship. But if these other two quarterbacks are outperforming him, and deserve to be the starter then they need to be the starter over Stetson Bennett plain and simple who would Georgia or I'm not even saying who will Georgia, who will Kirby Smart hire as the next wide receivers coach? We're still waiting on Todd Monken to see if he decides to move on to the NFL. Still waiting on Jamal would die. I heard that there's a possibility 
he could be leaving, moving on to go coach somewhere else, which he was the new defensive backs coach this year that came from West Virginia. Time will tell, guys. We just gonna have to sit back, wait, and see what happens. I appreciate all y'all uh, watching my video. Y'all do me a favor and leave some comments down below, and I'll be sure to respond to them as I see them. Win, lose, or tie. I'm a dog fan till the day I die. Go dog.